button. Well, Gary, I want to get a, a synopsis of your year. You had uh, you're with the team from the very beginning all the way to the very end, and uh, you saw the rough start. The young, you know, the youth of this team that that was at the start of the year, but then all of a sudden, you know, things turned a corner. What was that mid March going into April, and, and all of a sudden, this team got uh, much better, and everybody got together and, and gelled as a unit. What is your assessment of the 2021 campaign and the u- uniqueness that was? Yeah, you know, I think you know, you hit it right on the head with it, you know, obviously with us having 17 first year players, um, you know, going into day one, we kind of knew, um, you know, where we were sitting with everything. And, um, you know, it was, it was uh, a learning experience, you know, for myself as well. You know, I've never, uh, obviously never been on a team with that many young, young players and then young, um, you know, young prospects. Um, so, you know, it was a, it was a great experience for both myself and, and, you know, a guy like Franny and, um, you know, we learned a lot too, you know, you learn a lot about, uh, you know, being a leader and, and, and trying to help these guys out. And, um, you know, I think a lot of the times when you go into a year, you can kind of almost assume that guys know, you know, and maybe you grab the three or four, um, you know, first year players and, and, you know, kind of help those guys along, but, um, you know, when you have 17, um, you know, it's, it's pretty tough to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So, you know, I think, uh, once we kind of turned that corner and, you know, guys started buying in and, um, you know, I think the biggest thing is understanding how the pro game works. Um, you know, like coming out and playing hard and, um, you know, you don't get nights off, uh, in, in those situations. So, um, you know, I, I think the guys did a great job, you know, I'm proud of the guys, um, you know, like I said, 17 first year players is, uh, you know, it might be a record. I'm not sure. It'd be something, uh, you know, something for, you know, somebody to look up, but um, you know, I, I know that uh, where we finished, um, I was proud of the guys, you know, we had uh, put some pretty good hockey down the stretch there. Patrick Williams, your hand is up. Your line is active, sir. Yes, Garrett. Uh, uh, what will you take forward from this season? Um, you know, both that, you know, memory wise, but also lessons or, or, or experiences that you can uh, apply toward the rest of your career? Yeah, you know, I think early on there, Patrick, I think for me, it was, it was learning how to, uh, you know, I think it made me a better leader, because, you know, I, I had to take so many uh, guys really under your wing. And like I said there before, you know, in a, in a typical year, um, you know, in previous years, I guess I should say, you know, you might have a handful of those guys and, you know, maybe you've got three or four guys on the front and three or four guys on the back, um, you know, and that makes it a lot easier to split guys up and, and, you know, a lot easier to keep guys going and, and, you know, just kind of drag guys along. So, um, you know, I think it made me a better leader. Um, it made me, uh, you know, I think, without talking for Franny, uh, for himself, but, you know, I think talking to him, um, you know, there's a lot of situations that we've never been in, you know, as, as a pro. And, and, uh, I mean, obviously this year, when you look back on it, um, there's a lot of situations that guys have never been in. Um, you know, we, we got almost fully dressed for a game, got ready to go out and, and the thing was canceled. So, you know, we knew coming into it, um, obviously that there's going to be hiccups and, and, um, you know, things that went on that were out of our control. Um, but, you know, the one thing that I can say is I'm very proud of our team. Um, you know, we never had one case all season. So I'm not sure if that is, uh, you know, if there's anyone else there out there that did it. But, um, you know, we were able to go a whole, you know, season, if you want to call it, without any positive cases. And I think that's, you know, kind of a testament to the guys, you know, understanding and and you know, kind of going by the rules there a little bit. Um, you know, we were fortunate enough to play hockey this year. Uh, you know, Chicago obviously stepped up and, and, you know, footed that bill for us to, to allow us to play. So, um, you know, I was proud of the way that the guys kind of came together and, and uh, you know, really just kind of kept the thing on the tracks for us. Thanks. Jay Taft, your line is active. Hey, Garrett. Um, I know this was a weird and, and different kind of year, and you're also kind of seeing the ice and seeing a team maybe differently than you ever have as you're transitioning here into this veteran uh, status. So I want to ask you, throw out a couple of names for me, two or three guys that really popped out, that really stood out as you were kind of overseeing this team and looking at things from, from that standpoint this season. 
Yeah, you know, I think, um, you know, when I look back, you know, I, I kind of look at, you know, a few of the guys that have been up and down, um, obviously in the taxi squad and, you know, the, you know, a few guys that come to mind right away, or, you know, Reese Johnson, Mackenzie Entwistle, you know, I think those are guys that, um, you know, got an opportunity this year, you know, and, and ran with it. Um, you know, they, they had a chance, they got a chance to play up top in Chicago and, and, uh, you know, came down and were able to, you know, continue the same way that they were playing up top. So, you know, I think that's sometimes a tough thing to do for guys to, uh, you know, I don't want to say stay focused, but, you know, stay motivated, um, especially in a year like this year, um, you know, they're, they're up in the NHL playing some games, get sent down, um, you know, you, you see guys that come, come back and forth that, you know, obviously spent some time here, a few guys, you know, kind of come down for a game or two. Um, but, you know, when I look at that, it's, it's, you know, for those guys and young in their careers and, you know, still on their entry level contracts, I think next year, um, you know, those are guys that are going to get a great opportunity here, you know, coming into to next season. So, um, you know, I thought those guys came in, did, did a hell of a job, um, you know, and those are younger guys that, you know, have really stepped up and, you know, even they are, even though they are a second year player, um, you know, I've really, really did a great job this year of, you know, making sure that they, they brought it every night. Did you notice the same kind of mindset from the, uh, all of the guys, younger guys, middle guys, uh, mid-level guys, whatever, as far as striving to get up there and looking at this season the same way they treat any other season, um, just because of it was such a developmental kind of year, but guys have jobs. And... Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I you know, I, I think it's it's tough to compare years because I think uh, in a typical season, you know, you're going to have a few guys go up and down and, you know, you might not have as many guys get a chance as, as what guys did this year. Um, you know, and like I said, you know, who knows, uh, you know, you'll never know, but, you know, you never know if Reese and or McKenzie will get a chance or, you know, you look at, uh, you know, even guys that played most of the year um, up in Chicago, you know, you, you're not really sure. Um, you know, what would happen if in a, in a normal year. Um, so I think it's a, it was a great opportunity for those guys. I think those guys, like I said, went in and ran with it. Um, you know, and, and I think the hardest thing as a young guy to do is go in, play one or two games, you know, come down and go back up and play again. And, you know, both of those guys came in and did that, you know, there, obviously there's a few other guys that, that were able to come in and do that, but, um, you know, that's, that's a tough thing to do because you get your chance and, and to come down and stay motivated, um, you know, to get a chance to go back up, but, you know, that's testament to those, those two guys for sure. That's fair. Yep. Sam Knox, I see your hand is up. Your line is active, sir. Hey, Aaron. So uh, kind of coming in, not even knowing if you were going to have a season and then ending the year with fans in the stands, what, what was that like for you and, and the squad, especially? Yeah. You know, we, uh, it was one of those things. I think we had fans the last three games at home, um, you know, and it's funny because, you know, I actually said to Bernie coming off the ice for warmups, there's 200 people in the stands and, um, you know, obviously, you know, playing most of my career in Hershey, um, you know, most nights we'd have 10,000. Um, but, uh, you know, I, those 200 people that first night gave me the same kind of chills and, you know, uh, adrenaline rush as, uh, you know, as I would with, with 10,000. So, you know, I think it, it was a pretty cool experience to finally get people back and have, you know, some of our young guys play in front of people. And, um, you know, I think that's going to be another big adjustment for guys coming into to next season is, you know, you put, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand 10,000 people in a, in a, in a rank, um, you know, the atmosphere, the, you know, the, the momentum shifts, I think, uh, you know, that's another whole thing that we're going to have to look at next year. So, um, you know, it was a pretty cool thing. Like, obviously, like you said, coming in, you know, not knowing, you know, there's a couple of times, uh, you know, getting ready for the season and then it, you know, it's pushed back and get ready for it again and it gets pushed back. And, um, you know, thankfully we got through the full year um, and we're able to do that with, uh, like I said, without any positive tests. And, um, you know, I think putting the fans back in the stands for the last three um, you know, I know two little fans, uh, that couldn't have been happier. And those are my two little girls. Uh, they were able to come to the last two games. So or last three games, I should say, 
Um, so, you know, I think it was, uh, you know, finally getting these guys a little taste of what it's like to play in front of people again. Awesome. Thanks, Garrett. Yeah, no problem. Patrick Williams, it's your hand back up. Your line is active. Yeah, Garrett, uh, you know, uh, obviously this past offseason for a lot of guys in this league, older guys, was really stressful with contracts. Um, what do you see ahead for the market? And, uh, you know, what do you see for, for yourself uh, going into this summer? Yeah, you know, I, I think it's, uh, you know, I'm not sure, Patrick. I think it's, uh, that's kind of the million dollar question. I know for myself, I, I want to continue playing. And, you know, I think, you uh, I was able to come back and show that I, I still belong in the league and, and, you know, can still play at this level. Um, you know, I little, had a little hiatus there, you know, going over to Europe and, um, you know, I was kind of looking after some family stuff, uh, you know, the year before. So, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things, I think, depending on what happens with, with regulations, I think this summer is going to be a, you know, who knows, it could be the next month and a half here that we, you know, we really start to see what's going to swing, um, you know, whether it's the NFL getting back going and, you know, some of these out, outdoor sports, if they can kind of hold it off and, and get things rolling, um, you know, I think we hit May 15th or sorry, May 15th, October 15th with, uh, you know, with the doors wide open and, and ready to go, um, you know, and I think that's a pretty exciting thing for us right now. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mr. Mitchell. We appreciate your time. It looks like you're packing up. What does the summer hold for you? Uh, final question there. It looks like uh, you're in the process of, of heading out. Yeah. You know what? I've, uh, I got to get nose surgery here coming up this week. So I got to, uh, I got to get that done. Uh, hopefully I can breathe a little better. Uh, combination of a few uh, broken noses over the course of a few years, but um, yeah, so I got to get that done. I'll be around in town for a little bit, but um you know, we're packing up, uh, headed back to Hershey, headed back home. Um, you know, and I, like I said before, I got a few uh, pretty excited girls in the other car there getting ready to, to hit the road. Well, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. And we look forward to hopefully catching up with you again here pretty soon. Perfect. No problem. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.